This mistake that we're about to see is not very big. It doesn't kill any of your groups, but that's what makes it so annoying. Because you will see this happen in so many games. It only loses a few points, but let's fix it anyway. Let's have a look. This is a game played by two 8Q players. It's White's turn, and White decided to attack this corner, like this. Black responds. Now, in this lesson, we're not talking about the fact that these moves that Black and White make on the second line are played too early in the game. There are plenty of big points on the sides to be played, but we'll talk about this in a different lesson. Right now, we are only focusing on this shape. Right now, this white stone is in danger. Black can cut, Atari, and capture it. So white needs to defend. But there are four ways of defending, A, B, C, and D, and all of them seem to work. But not all of them are the same. So in the game, white played like this. Black threatens the stones again. There's a weakness. White defends. And black saves the corner. All of this seems to be perfectly normal, but there's one minor detail. This one. This descending onto the first line is a typical mistake. What's wrong with it? It protects my territory? It protects the first line? Why is it bad? It still leaves a weakness. And when black plays here, protecting the corner, white now is forced to defend once again. And now black gets this move, which protects the corner, for free. But if instead of this descending, white connects, can black play here now? Well, yes, you can. But do you really want to play here right now, getting this one point? Mm, probably not. Maybe it's much better to play something like this, the big point, or defend the corner, or we can protect the corner this way. We can do pretty much anything, and it, all of that will be better than playing this one stone here, taking this point. So. In 95% of cases, when you see this situation, it's always better to simply connect. Okay, now how about playing this move instead? This is a good shape, a tiger's mouth, right? Yeah, it's a good shape, but it leaves an obvious weakness right here. So black starts looking at this weakness right this instant. And black can peep, and white is forced to connect. Now, of course, black will save the corner, but at some point in the future, this stone might help black in some way. For example, black will invade on this side, and white will attack. Black will try to make a living shape here, and you see this stone is starting to help black. At some point later, black might play here or here, and it becomes a living group. Now, let's try the other tiger's mouth, like this. But of course now this stone is weaker, so black will Atari and the corner is protected for free once again. So the reason why this solid connection is so good is that now that white is strong, black is not going to play here, which means that later in the game, white will probably get a chance to play here himself, forcing black to defend. This might only look like a couple of points, but there's no reason to give them to black for free. Now let's see one more example. This is another game. There was a big fight on the top and almost no moves were played on the lower side, but we're focusing on this shape right here. In the game, white blocked, and you can probably guess that black played on the first line. So white threatens these stones, and black defends. White got a chance to close off this territory for free. But let's see what happens if, instead of playing this, black connects. Now white doesn't have a chance to play here anymore. This is now Gote, and it's not such a big move. So white will have to play somewhere else which means that much later in the game, black will probably get a chance to play here. White will have to defend. Black connects. White connects. And white loses these points. I know, in this game, black is losing big, so black probably needs to ignore this altogether and play somewhere else. But in some other game, this little end game could decide the outcome. In the same way, if instead of connecting, black plays like this, White will get a chance to Atari and gain some profit. If black defends like this, this leaves a weakness once again. So white will peep, black connects, 
And later, white will get a chance to do something about this corner. For example, white could invade like this, threatening to either connect with a stone or escape. So the simple connection is still best. This descending move is so popular, it seems like it's played by so many people, and here's me telling you that you should never play it. So let me show you a position where it actually works. This is the very beginning of another game. Black and white just play the simple Joseki here, and the sequence you're about to see is typically played some 70 moves later in the end game. Right now it's still early opening, and black and white should take some big points. But in this game, they decided to play this end game sequence. So white pushed, and black defends, and now white threatens to capture this stone on the second line. And here, for the first time ever, it is actually possible to play this descending move. Why? Simply because white cannot play in the corner because white is short on liberties. Black will capture. So this gives black a little bit more points. But in any of your games, when you have a stone in the second line and you want to save it, there's no need to be fancy. The first thing you should consider is a simple connection. And now, let's do some practice. By the way, you can also watch these lessons on our platform, gomagic.org. Except there, you'll watch them with interactive quizzes right within the lessons and practical exercises right after them. And if you enjoy watching these Go videos and you don't want to miss others like this one, go smash that like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and this is Go Magic.